You got any fours? How you doing? My name is Chris. Welcome to my shop. I've got something a little different for you today. Still making stuff for kids, but this time it's an accessory for kids and their card games. Headed your way next. So why is today's project different? Well, it's because it's so simple, I can actually talk to you while we do it. Um, I'll tell you what we'll start with. We're gonna start with this piece of wood, and I'll tell you more about this type of wood in a little bit. That's kind of interesting. Uh, this is a four quarter piece of uh, wood. It's a one inch thick. Um, what I wanna do is I wanna start off by cutting a two inch piece off of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my fence so that I'm ripping two inches off that board. And that should do it. Let me uh, adjust the height of my blade here. One sec. All right, that's pretty good. Let's do that. All right, let's run this through. All right, that's easy enough. Set that guy to the side. Now to make this project, and if you've read the title of the video, you already know what I'm making. I'm making card holders for kids. Um, and we'll talk more about the kids and what we're doing with that in a little bit. But uh, in order for this to hold cards, I have to cut a slot in it, so I need to move my fence in a little bit. Now you could do this however you want. You can move it in so that you're adjusting it so that the, the, th the non-through cut you're about to make is in the center of this board. But I'm just gonna go a little bit left of center, meaning that the cut is going to be closer to the left hand side of the board than the right hand side of the board. That will just give the back of this piece when I'm done a little more support. And let me once again adjust my blade so that we're not cutting all the way through. I want to cut about, oh, I'm going to say halfway to three quarters of the way through this board. I think we've got that. Let me double check it here. All right, we're good. Let's run this through. As you can see, that's uh, about three quarters of the way through the board. All right, leaving that face down, all I really want to do from here is I want to knock these corners off. And you can do whatever angle on your table saw you'd like. Uh, but let me uh, pause this for a second. I'll adjust the uh, angle on my saw blade and we'll move on from there. All right, right there. 33 degrees is what I'm doing. You could do it however you want. And all I really want to do is I now want to set my fence so I'm just taking that angle off the edge of this board. I want to be careful not to get into my non-through cut, but just enough to take that angle off. And this is more for decorative purposes, but I suppose it is a safety feature too, especially with kids. Take these shop corners off wherever you can. So let's go ahead and run that through. Just a very minor cut, just softening up that edge. We'll do the same thing, but I'll turn the board around and put it through again. All right, that is essentially everything we need to do on the table saw. The only thing that's left to do is to cut these up into individual pieces, and I'm gonna be making four of them today. So let me calculate what the distance is of that, then we'll move over to the uh, miter saw Cut all four off, we'll be done with this project. That's just how easy it is. All right, so all we really need to do is decide what length we want on these. And I think I'm gonna probably end up doing, I think about seven and a half inches for each one. And I'm just gonna cut four of these out of this board so that uh, you know four kids can sit around the table and play cards with each other. So I tell you what, let me uh, go ahead and mark that out. I'll cut four of these out of this piece of wood, then we'll sit down and talk about how maybe you can help the kids out in your area this year. All right, simplest project ever. I mean, what was it? Four cuts in the table saw, three on a miter saw, and we've got four kids' card holders. 
Now, obviously, if I was to wrap these up and put them under a tree for an underprivileged child this Christmas, if they unwrapped them, they'd be rather underwhelmed. Um, <laughs> but it's because this isn't the real present. These are just accessories to go with the real present. And the real present is this. It's a set of six card games made by Hoyle. Uh, I mean, everything from Crazy Ace to Go Fish and in between there. Um, and this cost me a total of $5.79. For kids that might ordinarily not be getting a Christmas present this holiday season, um, I can do that. I would I had laying around five dollars and seventy nine cents. And to be honest with you, this wood I told you I'd tell you about it. This is a wood called Lapaco or Lapacho. Uh, the name is right here, okay? Because I probably just butchered it. Um, but it's uh, it's it falls under the uh, class of an Ipe. It's from Paraguay, and it was given to me by Tim Sway, who said it was reclaimed off of decking. And this is extremely hard wood. Seriously, on the Jenga scale, this is top five. If it's not number three on the list, it's number four. One of the hardest woods in the world. But you don't need this kind of wood, guys. Seriously, scrap wood, a piece of pine. I've showed you how easy it is to do this. You can just grab some scrap wood out of your shop bin, make these, you know, if you have the $5.79, the link will be down below, by the way, to Amazon for this. And it's not an affiliate link. I don't have affiliate links, so it's not gonna help me out a bit. I'm helping the kids and so are you. $5.79 for a set of card games for kids, some scrap wood you had laying around, the simplest project that you can get done in a half an hour and make some kid that ordinarily wouldn't get something on the holiday season, a present for them to open up and feel good about. Come on, this maker community is, is, is the best community I know. And I know that you guys are willing to give your time, your resources, your talent, which many of you have a lot of, to you know families that need it. We do it for our own family. Let's do it for somebody else's family this holiday season. That's the whole point of this video. And I tell you what, I'll play a card game with you right now, and I'm, the bet is this. If I win this hand, the best hand wins. If I win this hand, you make a present for a needy child in your area and donate it to Toys for Tots, a local church, a community organization, whatever. Make at least one. If you make more, bonus, but if you only do one, I would appreciate it. And I'll tell you what, if I lose this hand, then all I ask is that you consider it, okay? So, because I know this community and we, whenever we see somebody that's in need of something, every single one of us is willing to pitch in and help out. All I'm asking you to do this holiday season is to pitch in and help out some kids that are needy in your area who could use a little present for Christmas that they might not ordinarily get, all right? And here's your hand. I can't see it. And this is mine. If I win this, you make a present for a kid. One kid that could that needs it, help out a family that is probably a little underprivileged and not feeling, uh, well, I don't want kids to go back to school when they return from the holiday break and have all their friends talk about all the cool presents they got and then yet they gotta be quiet in the corner because they didn't get anything. I mean, come on guys, that's sad. If you can do it, do it. I know we haven't gotten to Halloween yet. We haven't even gotten to Thanksgiving yet. So this may be a little early for some of you folks to even think about. But if you make things for Christmas and you make handmade stuff to give away for presents, this one you can knock out, as I've shown you, in less than a half an hour. And you can make somebody who ordinarily wouldn't get something very, very happy. Here's the results. Go make something. I'll talk to you later. I'm sorry, were you expecting me to play fair? Not a chance.